Namaste friends and welcome to this wonderful beginner gentle flow practice. My name is Yogi Aaron and I'm in this beautiful place called Blue Osa. This is our new pool deck and I want to share a little beginner flow with you. In any of the classes that I teach, we always implement some Ayama practices, applied yoga anatomy and muscle activation. We always practice dynamic stretching. We do not passively stretch. And <clears throat> one of the things that I really want to encourage you to do is just erase the words flexibility and stretching from your mind as we dive into this practice. It's not about how far you can go into a pose, but how much you can really fully embody your breath and embody the muscle activation part of this practice, which I think you're really going to like and I would love to hear from you and how you feel after this practice. So come to a, just a comfortable seated position and we're just gonna start by doing a little bit of pranayama practice, which basically means breathing practice. This kind of breathing practice, as we dive into it, is sometimes called pure breath, all right? So finding a comfortable seat, sit up as straight as you can. If you'd like to, you can always put a pillow underneath your buttocks, that kind of helps to elevate the hips and encourage more extension in the spine. So with your eyes closed, the hands resting comfortably on the knees, just take a couple of deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And as you breathe in and breathe out, just start to notice the flow of the breath. Feeling the flow of the breath and trying to work towards making the inhalation equal to the exhalation. So if you want to follow the counts, you can. That's one way to do it. So if you inhale, you're counting to about three or four, maybe even five. Make the exhale the same amount. So if you inhale for four counts, we exhale for four counts. Whether you're a beginner or the most advanced student, this is the most important breathing practice you can master. And by mastery, I mean that you are starting to breathe this way throughout your entire life, not just when you come and sit for yoga practice. So inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply Begin to feel the breath deep in your lower belly. Feel the breath deeply around the ribs. And then as you inhale, the breath rises up to the top of your chest. As you exhale, the breath leaves the top of your chest, leaves the ribs, and then leaves the lower belly. So just like you're filling a glass of water that the breath fills up at the bottom all the way up to the top and just as if you're emptying the glass the water leaves the top and moves all the way down to the bottom. It's kind of a nice visualization to use. As you practice more and more with me, we'll dive deeper into discovering more of the subtleties of the breath and how to start refining the qualities of your breath. Inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. Okay, bring the hands to Namaste Mudra, which is prayer in front of the heart. Let's create an, an intention together to cultivate more stability and more strength in our body. 
so that we feel more confident, empowered as we move throughout life. Perfect. So from here, take the arms out to the sides and inhale. Bring the hands and reach up to the sky. Reach up as high as you can. Feel the whole spine elongating. Exhale, bring the hands down to the sides of your body. Inhale, bring the hands and reach up to the sky as high as you can. And exhale, bring the hands down to the sides. Inhale, bring the hands and reach up. We'll do this a couple more times. And exhale, bring the hands back down. As we're inhaling and bringing the arms up, again, feel like you're filling your torso like a glass of water with the breath. Let's start to add a little bit of twisting to this. So inhale, bring the arms and reach up. Try and extend the spine as much as you can and exhale, twist, and just let the hands come down, but don't touch the floor. Don't reach for the floor. Inhale, bring the hands back up, come back to center, and then exhale, twist, and let the arms come down and spread out through the collarbones. Lift the chest, feel that lower back extension. Inhale, bring the arms and reach up. We'll do it a couple more times each side. Exhale, twist, and let the hands come down. Inhale, come back up. Reach up. And exhale, twist. Inhale, come back up. Let's do it one more time each side. Exhale, let the hands come down. Spread through the collarbones. Lift up through the chest. Use your muscles to twist a little bit more. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, twist. Beautiful. Inhale, come back up. Turn the corners of your mouth upwards because it feels so good to breathe. And exhale, come to Namaste Mudra. Let's come back to our intention of stability, strength, build a feeling of inner confidence. Nice. So what I'd like you to do is uncross your legs <clears throat> and bring your feet over to one side. I've got my feet over to the right. Just cross the arms for a moment. And I'd like you to bring your right shoulder or the shoulder that's on the side of the feet sticking out. Bring the shoulder towards those feet as much as you can. Now, I don't want you to drop over. Just don't collapse over. But I feel like there's a Coke can between your floating ribs on your right side and your right pelvic bone. And really squeeze there as much as you can. Oh, yes. And then come back up. And exhale, come back over and squeeze that Coke can. Mm, mm, mm. Inhale, come back up. And exhale and come over and squeeze that Coke can. And inhale, come back up. And exhale, come over and squeeze that Coke can. Uh, uh, uh. We'll do it just one more time. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come over and squeeze the Coke can. Now take your left arm up towards the sky and bring it over your head. Now keep squeezing the Coke can on the right side, but spiral the heart upwards towards the sky, towards your ceiling. Mm, mm, mm. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Come over just a little bit more, squeeze the Coke can. Really crunch it. And then come on back up. Ah. Just take a moment to breathe in. And out. It's so nice to just move the body. Let's flip sides. And feel energy moving. Now, when we talk about energy at a physiological level, of course, we're talking about this awakening in the nervous system. And that's one of the gifts of yoga is 
that we get to awaken the nervous system, especially the neuromuscular system. Sit up as tall as you can and then bring the left shoulder over to the feet. Now, I don't reach the shoulder out away from you, just towards the feet. You're crunching that coat cam on the side there, waking up all the lateral obliques. Inhale, come back up. Sit up tall, as tall as you can. You don't have a lot of options to go much taller. <laughs> and exhale, bring the left shoulder over to the left hip pelvic bone or the feet. Remember to turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come back over. Nice, just really delicious to wake up those lateral obliques are so important for maintaining stability in the trunk and spine. Inhale, come back up and exhale, come back over. And you might wonder, well, what, why is stability important in the trunk and spine? Well, you know how many times maybe you've thrown out your back in your life or you've hurt your back or your hips aren't quite feeling right. A lot of that is because the oblique muscles aren't doing their job. They're not maintaining the structure and support of your body. Inhale, back up. It's the last one. Exhale, come back over. And this time you're gonna bring the right arm, reach up to the sky, and keep bringing that left shoulder towards the feet or the pelvic bone. So again, you're crunching that Coke can. Remember to turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Still breathe in this way that you can feel the torso filling up with breath, just like that glass of water is filling up. Inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. Take another breath in. And then come back up. And just bring the hands to Namaste Mudra. Just take a breath in. Again, feeling more strength and stability in your body and leaving confidence and a sense of personal empowerment in its wake. Let's slowly make our way to all fours. And from here, just spread your fingers as wide as you can. Now, usually the instruction here is to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. I actually want you to bring your hands forward just a little bit. And again, spreading the fingers. And inhale, lift the chest and heart. And then exhale, round the back. Pull the navel towards the spine. Inhale. Lengthen the chest and heart, lifting it forward. And exhale, and kind of again round the back and pull the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit. Exhale, look over your right shoulder towards your right glute. Again, crunch the coat can on the right side. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale, again, look over to the left shoulder and see if you can see your left glute. Crunch the coat can on the left side. Inhale, come back through center. And this time, exhale and round the back. Inhale, lift up. And then we'll do it again. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. Crunch the coat can on the right side. Inhale, come back through center, lift the chest and heart, and exhale, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, lift the chest and heart, and exhale, and round the back and pull the navel towards the spine. Inhale, lift the chest and heart, and we'll do it one more time. Exhale, crunch the coat can on the right side. Check out your right glute. Inhale, come back through center, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Check out your left glute. Inhale, lift up through the center. Exhale, and round the back. Now, 
In, we're going to come to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Lift the head up slowly towards the sky. Just get a little bit of neck PT in there. Exhale, keep the knees bent as you press into downward dog. Lift the toes up as much as you can. Inhale, come to all fours. Again, lift the chest and heart. See if you can keep that extension a bit as you exhale. Keep the knees bent and slowly make your way to downward dog. Inhale, come to all fours, lift the chest and heart. Slowly lift the head up towards the ceiling. This helps to strengthen the, the neck extensors. Exhale, slowly come to downward dog. See if you can create more length in the spine as you do that. Inhale, come to all fours. Lift the chest and heart. Lift the head slowly towards the ceiling. Exhale, keep that length as you come into downward dog. Keep the knees bent. Nice. And now inhale, come to bring your left knee down. Turn your right heel over to the left. If you want to play on balance here, line up the heel of your hand to the knee to the back foot. Bring your right hand up towards the sky as much as you can. Now bring the hand to the right ribs. And I want you to think about that Coke can again on the left side. I want you to lift those ribs up towards the hand. Now it always helps here if you can lift the right corner of your mouth upwards as well. <laughs> Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Now bring the right arm up, exhale over your head, mm, mm, mm. inhale deeply and exhale slowly bring that right hand down and step your left foot back, come into downward dog. Keep the knee slightly bent here. Bring the right knee down. Turn that left heel over to the right. And from here, bring your left hand up towards the sky. And then bring the left hand down to the ribs and lift the left ribs up. Think about squeezing that, right, that Coke can on the right side. And it always helps, again, to turn the corners of your mouth upwards, especially that left corner. <laughs> Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Inhaling. And exhaling. Mm, mm, mm. So nice. And then take the left hand up towards the sky. Bring your arm over your head. Press down through the left heel and really reach as much as you can. Keep squeezing the Coke can on the right side. Beautiful. Take one more breath. And then exhale. Bring the left hand down. And step back into downward dog. Delicious. Keep the knees bent. I want you guys to really focus on creating that elongation. One of my favorite cues here is to lift the ski slopes of your buttocks upwards, which means basically just lift your butt up towards the sky. Keep the knees bent. Now don't allow the chest to dip down to the floor. So keep the armpits hollowed, but keep lifting that ski slopes of your buttocks up. And you'll feel that the spine starts to elongate. Very nice. Inhale, come to plank pose from here. Squeeze the sides of your belly in. Now, if this is too much for you, just lower the knees to the floor here. Squeeze the sides of the belly. And then exhale, come to downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. And again, if you want to, you can bring the knees down to the floor. Squeeze the sides of the belly towards the midline and pull the navel in, press up between the shoulder blades and exhale. 
come back into downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Again, squeeze the sides of the belly into the midline. Draw the shoulder blades back, press up in between the shoulder blades. Exhale, come to downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Again, feel free to bring the knees down, but keep squeezing the sides of the belly towards the midline. Exhale, come into downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Keep the back legs straight if the knees are up. Press back through the heels of the feet, the chest forward. Press up between the shoulder blades. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. Exhale, come into downward dog. We'll just do it one more time. We love this pose. Inhale, press up between the shoulder blades. Let the hips dip a little bit. Press back through the heels. Engage through the inner thighs. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. <laughs> this time, bring the knees down. Exhale, bring the forehead down to the floor. We're going to finish with one more pose here. And this is such a great pose. It's one of my favorite poses that never gets taught enough in yoga classes. And it really helps to engage all the muscles of your back, no matter how much you think you're not doing in this pose, you're doing more than you think you are. <laughs> so from here, lift the legs up and lift the chest up. And we just hold it for a few seconds. We don't hold it long, but just keep lifting everything up. Lift the legs up, keep the legs as straight as possible, and then slowly bring the forehead down. Lift up again, lift the legs up, lift the chest up. Nice. And then slowly down. Very good. The muscle you're working here is in your lower back. So you want to really want to feel that. It's called the longissimus. So if you want to bring your hands to your lower back just for a moment, just so you can feel it, lift the legs up. Lift the chest up and you should feel that muscle popping out a little bit. And if it's not popping out, that's okay. But you're probably feeling it because it's the muscle that's shortening the most. And exhale, come on down. And inhale, come on up. And exhale, come on down. Inhale, come on up. Lift the legs up, keep them as straight as possible. And if you find that it's easier to lift your chest up higher, lower the chest a bit, but lift the legs up higher. And you're gonna feel this more in your lumbar spine, which is great, you wanna feel it there. Exhale, come on down. Come on up again. Nice. Lift the legs up a little bit higher. Keep them as straight as you can. And then come on down. And we're going to just finish this practice with a little relaxation pose. I'm going to bring the hands. You have two options here. You can bring the hands on top of each other or bring the forearms on top of each other and let the forehead come to your forearm. And just breathe in deeply there and exhale deeply. This is called crocodile pose, makrasana. As you're staying here, allow yourself to keep breathing in deeply 
and exhaling deeply. Think about filling the trunk of your spine with breath as if you were filling up that glass of water. And you really don't have anywhere to be at this moment except to breathe, to be present. I'm going to invite you to stay here as long as you like. Stay here for five minutes, ten minutes. But just keep practicing diaphragmatic breathing. And as you go back out into the world, take that strength and stability you've cultivated and live a more confident life. Trust in your abilities. Your inner resolve is your superpower to go out and manifest and live your life purpose.